today we are going to be visiting a petrified forest. Wow! Oh my god! <laughs> oh my god! It's like arriving on another planet. Hi, I'm Lavi. And I'm Ollie. And this is our hero, Bumblebee. Together, we are attempting a Guinness World Record to become the youngest pair to circumnavigate the globe by, by motorcycle. motorcycle. Join us for season three here in South America. World. Welcome back to the channel. It's day number 246 on our circumnavigation around the globe by motorcycle. <laughs> We're here in the middle of the Patagonian desert in this beautiful wild camp that we found on iOverlander last night. Yeah, it was really promising that we will have a nice and quiet night and we were really looking forward to it. But it turned out that it it was a storm going on or something like this yesterday night so it felt like that we kind of like fly away and the, the tent was just going crazy everything was going crazy so <laughs> yeah there was a lot of wind yes. i mean with this giant open landscape there's just wind everywhere here in patagonia it's crazy so not exactly the peaceful quiet night that we were expecting but let me show you guys where we're headed today so we are here about 40 kilometers off of the Ruta 3 in this massive Patagonian desert area. And today we are going to be making our way 10 kilometers more across to the Monumento Nacional y Reserva Natural Bosque Petrificados or Petrified Forest. Then we'll be making our way back to the 3 and continuing our journey south, 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 all the way to Ushuaia. Look at this. So we just found this literally just over there. This is a piece of petrified wood. Listen. Looks like a piece of wood, but it's actually a piece of stone. Well, it was a piece of wood originally, but it's been transformed over millions of years into a piece of stone. So the forest that we're going to be visiting today is not a forest anymore. It's actually a 150 million year old forest. So we are about 10 kilometers away from the national park. And after our visit, we have to head south, south, south to reach Ushuaia in three days. So we don't know exactly how far we get. We don't know exactly where we're going to camp tonight, but it's already eight o'clock and we have a long way to go. So better hit the road. Let's go. All right. <sighs> So I'm just going to make my way back to the road on my own because it's a little bit soft here. Cuckoo! <laughs> All right, there's the dirt road up there. I'm going to go round over to here. It's a little bit soft. Okay, cool. Well, hey there, pretty lady. Where are you headed? <laughs> Elixir the paradise. Okay, let's do it. Wow, it's 15 degrees this morning. No way. Yeah, this must be one of our coldest temperatures, literally since we got to South America. Yeah. Okay, cool. On our way to the 150 million year old forest. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> oh wow, look. Uh -huh. We were this close to the border of the Parque Nacional Bosque Petrificados de Jaramillo. There you go. So the reason we were camping over there is because it's actually prohibited to camp inside the national park. <laughs> so you can see we were just there and the park's here so there we go you know St don't break the rules staying in the rules <laughs> awesome it's nice here yeah. so nice views wow oh look what some oh. guanacos yes good morning guys <laughs> amazing we were just camping over there and there's guanacos just here 
Whoa! Beautiful! Whoa! Look at this! <laughs> Argentina, we love you! <laughs> so cool riding in the morning. Road, yeah. Amazing. Oh, so nice. Oh, look, Maras. Whoa, Mara. Mara, it's so cute, look. Beautiful. Wow. It's a South American relative of the European hare, basically overgrown rabbits. <laughs> and there was some rain last night here, actually. I could hear it on the tent. Yeah. So we've got quite a lot of little puddles around. But look at these rock formations here. Amazing. What a place. Wow. Oh my god. <laughs> Oh my god! Look at this. It's like arriving on another planet. Oh my god, really? Whoa. I mean, this is like out of this world, really. Wow. This has got to be one of my favorite places we've ever ridden. This is just like another world. Very unique place here. <laughs> yeah, look at all the colors of the rocks. You've got like this red and then a little bit green and yellow. It's just amazing. Look at this. Yeah, it looks unreal. It really looks unreal. <laughs> oh, and then the Guanaco signs here. Oh, yeah. Nice. Really, really nice. Look at that. Yeah, we saw already tons. Yeah, they love it here. So it looks like we're arriving at the ranger's place or the control and some information up here. Okay. I always like a bit of information. Exactly. <laughs> okay, I want to work here. If there's anywhere that I want to work, <laughs> it's just chilling in the information center. <laughs> in the yeah. middle of this place yeah. looking out for pumas wow okay i think this must be the parking okay here perfect bye bubblebee <laughs> see you in a bit we will see some of these guys yeah watch out for dinosaurs okay Oh, so this is a little museum of artifacts and things that they have found in this national park area. And we've got dinosaur bones, fossilized plants. Wow. Look at this one. Huge shell. Shark teeth. 
I absolutely love these ancient arrowheads from Paleolithic hunters. It says here that man arrived here 13,000 years ago. Ah, this is what they would hunt guanacos with. So they would have one of these balls with a string and they would and uh, knock the guanaco on the head. But here is what this place is named after, is what it's famous for. This might look like a tree branch, but it's made of stone. All of this here is made of stone. Wow, look at this one here. <gasps> no. Oh, no, this is actually wood. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God, they put a piece of wood in there. <laughs> And that is much heavier than a piece of wood. Look at that. That is petrified wood. And here it's talking about the process of petrification, about what happens. But essentially, the wood gets submerged in the soil, and then that's covered. And then over millions and millions of years, the wood is replaced by leached silica, which um, comes through in the soil and basically fills the cavity where the wood used to be and effectively turning this structure of the wood into stone. And here in this national park is where you can find the largest specimens of fossilized trees in the world. <laughs> Let's go and check that out. <laughs> wow, it's an absolutely beautiful landscape. And over there you can see an ancient volcano. This trail is two kilometers long and takes about one hour, the ranger told us. And we can just see bits of trees everywhere. Look at this. <laughs> That's a giant tree trunk. Wow. Oh my God, guys, look at this size of a stone tree. <laughs> Wow, cool. Wow, 45 meters long. This whole area here, 150 million years ago, was a massive forest with dinosaurs eating from the tops of these trees. <laughs> Incredible. And it's amazing that after all this time, we can just see the tree lying here, basically where it fell 150 million years ago dinosaur may have scratched his butt on the edge of this tree <laughs> or his back or something so here's the dinosaur here's the massive trees that were here and this is us and it's funny because this is actually the same dinosaur that we saw the giant statue of outside of Treleo. Look at the size of this dinosaur. Oh my goodness. It was the largest dinosaur to have ever existed and it was living here, munching the leaves of these trees. Massive. Guys, look at this massive tree. absolutely huge. This one here is the largest petrified tree trunk in the world, 47 meters long. Wow. With a diameter of nearly two meters. It looks like that every hill has a lid on top. <laughs> Beautiful. So there we go. Monumento 
Bosque Petrificados, the petrified forest. Absolutely incredible. It's definitely worth a visit. Yeah, and best of all, it was free. So you don't have to pay an entry fee, you just have to make it down 50 kilometers of dirt road. Yeah, exactly, and the dirt road was beautiful. An amazing ride I to like get here. dirt roads like that, you know, they are just nice. <laughs> yeah, so cool. Yeah. So cool. And I just liked how there was just, this area just had so much going on from the old petrified forest. And then there was a sea at one point because there were shark's teeth found here. And then the uh, ancient humans that were here and all of the sort of arrowheads and and paleolithic like artifacts that they found all in the museum so you've just got so much going on here it's just lots and lots and lots of amazing history here in one place yeah incredible wow all right so we've got a 50 kilometer ride on this dirt road to get back to ruta national 3 where we'll then continue our way south and see how far we can get yeah unfortunately it's already 12 o'clock and we didn't make any distance today so we will see how it goes but we might have to uh, ride until you know the late evening but it was worth it to come and visit this place for yeah. sure <laughs> worth yes. the detour yes See you guys! <laughs> Here we go! 50 kilometer dirt road done! And we met some really cool bikers from Brazil as well heading down to Ushuaia. Okay. So before we hit the highway, I'm going to pump back up our tyres. Alright, 38 in the front, 42 in the back, and that means we're ready for tarmac. Yeah, let's see how far we can get today. It's already 1.30. Our plan was to ride 300 miles. <laughs> Uh, we've done 39! <laughs> yes! Oh. Awesome! All fueled up. Lavi's been inside the shop. Oh my lord, what have you got there? Is that all cheese? It's like the size of my head nearly here. Oh my god, can I see? Whoa, look at that. <laughs> That's magical, look at that. It was the only cheese they had. How heavy is that? Yes. I think it's a kilo probably. I think it's a kilo. Wow. And some rolls. Yes. Cheese rolls. Woo. How is the cheese? That is amazing. <laughs> I mean, we cut ourselves some... Look out, we, don't, we use nothing. A wow. nice sandwich with some tomatoes and some salad. Mm. Yummy. Mm. It's a good, good, nice stop. There are six cats behind Lavi waiting for food. <laughs> Mucho, eh? Mucho, eh? Come on, they're very cute. Not getting any of my cheese. <laughs> this is beyond ridiculous now. I've counted 14 cats around us. I'm the cat mom. Got ourselves a whole herd of guanaco right on the road. Hello guys! 
Hello guys, come on. Decide where you want to go. Oh my lord. <laughs> come on. Over the left, over the right. Oh, cute. Cheers guys. 11,999. 12,000! Woo! Yes! <laughs> So it's really funny here in Argentina because everyone is drinking mate the whole day and on each petrol station they have like big uh, water refiller with hot water that everyone can fill up their flask but we don't have a flask so I would just <laughs> we just used our pot and we just filled up the whole pot here with hot water that we can have instead of, instead of mate we will have some coffee <laughs> it's really nice that they have hot water here everywhere was really cheap as well like five cents or something perfect a little refresher for you my love awesome so we're just leaving that petrol station in the small town of san juan in the middle of this desert region the temperature at the moment is 15 degrees so it's literally one of our coldest rides since like England. Since England, yes. So we have about 130 miles left to our camp spot what we found on iOverlander. It's just like sort of on the side of the road so we will just go there and see if it's suitable for us to camp there. And the sunset is way later here as well. I think yesterday the sunset was not even like at 10 o'clock, hey? it was like 10.30 or something like that. It, it was, was really late. Yeah, yeah, because we are getting really, really south. Yeah. Ushuaia, where we're heading in two days more, uh, is actually f nearly 55 degrees south. So it's really, really south. More time to ride, hey? <laughs> That's right. <laughs> The temperature has hit 12 degrees and it's been raining quite a lot so overall I would say pretty harsh conditions today Patagonia keeps giving us harsh conditions whether it's extreme heat, extreme wind or now rain and cold it's a really crazy place crazy place full of nothing <laughs> awesome looks like we're just about to arrive at the camping spot that was listed on iOverlander yeah yeah here here no yeah here but uh, maybe I will jump off okay ho 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 this road nice Seems all right. Seems all right now. Seems okay. Yeah. Yeah. Look at this little spot, hey? Wow, very exclusive. Yeah. That looks nice. Yeah, it's like down from the road. Yeah. I, re I reckon if we pull in to close to the hill here over there, I think we'll be totally hidden from the roads. Yeah, and maybe a little bit from the wind as well. Yeah, it doesn't feel nice. too windy. Yeah. Yeah, I think this is pretty good. Perfect. Yeah, cool. All right, let's find a spot to pitch the tent. We got the tent set, set up. up, we, we got, got a tent, tent set, set up. up, we got a tent set, set up. up, we got a tent, tent set up. So what are we having today for dinner? Mashed potatoes and some peas. Classic English way, mash and peas. Normally you're supposed to have some either fish or some meat with it, but <laughs> 
Who oh, skipped that? So nice cooking equipment here. Oli is doing over there the computer stuff. And I'm in the kitchen. Oli is in the office and I'm in the kitchen. So just boiling up some water. Okay, literally just boil up the water now and <laughs> chuck the mesh in after. But to make it a little bit more tasty, I have here some stuff like, um, where is it? Here. One of my favorites, vegetable stock. A little bit of onion and a little bit of garlic. So that looks good. Ready in just a minute. Put the piece already in there that they're getting nice and warm. Okay, a minute more and then the water should be quite nice and boiled. Oh, I can put a little bit of oil in there as well. Just to make it a little bit more tasty. <laughs> So just mix the mashed potatoes in there. Oh no, it just started really raining. Yeah. Okay, so have to get everything ready quickly. There it is. <laughs> it's like a mountain of mashed potatoes with a sprinkled cheese on top. <laughs> I would say that's more like a mountain of mashed potato and a mountain of cheese. <laughs> but we do have like a whole two kilo block so yeah just chuck it on chuck, chuck it that on. cheese on chuck it on chuck it on <laughs> all of the stuff to load the footage is there and like all the cooking stuff is there and our sleeping stuff is it's a busy place inside the tent at the moment <laughs> but anyway we did actually make it all the way down to where we wanted to get to nearly 300 miles yeah i'm very proud of us very proud of us and this camp here is so nice it's just off the road but still the road is not in view and nobody can see us yeah. and it's just it feels very very secured and quiet yeah 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 i think we're gonna have actually a really nice night <laughs> but i said that last <laughs> night crossed. And it was actually like really super, super windy and I had a really bad night, but it was a beautiful view to wake up to this morning anyway. Yes. So that it from us today. We did at the end 280 miles and we hope you enjoyed the episode. If so, please give us a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, share the video with your friends and family, comment below and we will see you next time.